guys, this week I wanted to do something a little bit different and uh, I want to talk a little bit about Zebrafy and that is this uh, plugin basically that you get uh, when you buy a, a Zebra and the cool thing about this is that you can put it up on any channel so you can put it on an audio channel for example just as an effect like I did here and then you have basically all the options of Zebra but you you can use another synthesizer or you can use a sample or you can even use an uh, analog synthesizer uh, what I do sometimes and then you load this on the channel and you have and you have the sound that you want or, or the other sound with um, all the other Zebra options so you can your effects are also here so the delay and the reverb normally that will be at the bottom and now it's all in this uh, middle panel um, so that's one thing that's different and the other thing that's different is that you need to um, set your input channels because now this plugin doesn't uh, work with the with the MIDI when you're when you're setting it to an audio channel it wants it still wants to know when the start of the sound is and the start of the notes are so you need to send this envelope detector for example or you need to set set all these settings and in this case I set this to percussive um, because I'm using a drum loop and um, that way you can make sure that your MSEGs for example are restarting um, when sound is restarting like that so um, it can sometimes can be tricky to get it um, exactly in sync especially when you have the when you have complicated sounds which don't have clear transients but um, in most cases when you mess a little bit with these uh, these settings um, you will be fine and the transient settings here um, so that's one thing oh and you need to set the MSEG to single if you want to uh, let it loop Um, so that's pretty cool and then you have uh, here on the left you have the input and the input panel and you can choose which lanes you want the sound to uh, travel through so for example I can send it to the second lane so now it will be here I mute the first lane and I can put a delay up there Maybe another filter. Okay, that's cool. And then we can pen that one with an LFO. And then we can still use the first lane. And there's just so much stuff that you uh, can do from this point um, for example we can maybe that will be cool if we modulate um, if we take a new LFO LFO 3 and we modulate the um, ratio of the delay and I think we have to be a bit careful with that I've set the LFO to um, user so now I can uh, make my own steps and I want eight steps and I can do like this Okay, now we can use another LFO for LFO 4. <coughs> we can say ratio 2. And this one is an amount of 24, so we'll give this one the same. And 
set it to one eight maybe to gate and then set it to user eight steps again And now let's use just a comb filter to make this a little bit more uh, usable maybe. Okay, so that's already cool, and then maybe what we can do here is, um, let's see, a touch of reverb, and Just this envelope a little bit so that is the envelope for the first lane And then um, you can pitch modulate this with an MCG or with an NFO. So uh, basically anything you want. So now you're basically using the drum loop to um, trigger the trigger the melody. So your drum rhythm is going to be kind of your melody uh, plus the delay. So that's a, a cool a cool new way to to think about uh, designing sounds and um, getting some creative loops going that you can use in your songs. So I hope you have fun with that, and I'll see you next week.